It's a wonderful evening here in Salem and we've got a very good encounter that is coming your way. We had the toss just a while back. Tirupur Tamarins won the toss. They decided that they were going to field. As far as the Dream 11 playing 11 are concerned, one change for Chepok Supergillies. The experienced Sai Kishore has overcome a stiff back. He's back in the mix, replacing Arun Kumar. And as far as I Dream Tirupur Tamarins are concerned, they're going in with the same 11. Okay then, a match of tremendous significance here gets underway. Down the track, he's gone over the top, he hasn't timed it all right. That should be wicket number one or so, I thought. The challenge was thrown to the batters and the batter took it on. And that induced a false shot. Mohan Prasant holding the ball back and Kaushik Gandhi going for a big hit. Scooped it up, it stayed in there long enough. Pulled in! It's quite a stunning start for I Dream Tirupur Tamarins. It's too early to start dreaming, but they've gotten off to a very, very bright start. Jagadeesan walks back without troubling the scorers. Jagadeesan dismissed for not. Has played it over the top. Beautifully played. He's one of the better stroke players that we have seen in Sri Ram TNPL, and that's a Sri Ram 4. Sounded really good. And it's got uh, what it deserved. Beautiful stroke play from Radha Krishnan yet again for a Sri Ram 4. Again, an aerial shot. And he's been picked up in the deep. Mohammed for a moment, I thought misjudged it, but then eventually all's well that ends well. Koshi Gandhi seemed to be in a hurry right from the word go, and he's back in the dugout. Koshi Gandhi is back in the hut, 12 for 2. Sweetly timed. Just gorgeous to watch. Seemed to have so much time on his hands as Radha Krishnan. Another fine street arm for. He's been trying to do this for a while. And finally, he's got the connection. And it's a boom, 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 a super sixer for Sai Kishore. Oh, is he gone? Timed it beautifully, but straight into the hands of the fielder. A very useful innings of Radha Krishnan comes to an end. And what a big wicket that could turn out to be. 24 of 18, 36 for 3. Just as we say that, Manikandan picks up the big fish. Surprised himself, Manikandan. Our Satish playing inside the line, just that bit of spin. Gone for 5, 47 for 4. The line is clear. And he gets lucky, he tried to play the sweep. Top edge can't do much about that. Gets a welcome straight arm four at the end of 10. It's 54 for four. Oh, he's taking that. What a night it's been for Mohan Prasad. Plucked it out of thin air. Again, there's no short mid wicket. Probably that worked in Mohan Prasad's favor. Look to work it for a single. Top tournament, what a return catch. Good presence of mind, just put out his left hand and caught one-handed. Mohan Prasad can't do anything wrong tonight. Big wicket of Sai Kishore, 19 of 26 and 60 for 5 now. He's tried to go over the top, he's gone I guess. I guess he's got to be gone. He might want to take a look all over again. Is there reason for Sonu Yadav to pray? Or is he beginning to walk back? Director, can you hear me? Yeah, it took a while coming, but the correct decision has been made. 
Sonu Yadav goes. Another wicket goes down. 65 for six. Chepok Supergillis. He's hit it straight back. Manke Bafna getting underneath it. Got his hands to it, but wasn't able to hold on. It's a boom, boom, boomer. Super sixer for Harish Kumar. What a good strike from uh, Harish Kumar. Is it straight into his hands? Oh, he's missed it. He hit it hard. And uh, probably he reacted a little late. Was expecting the ball to drop short, but it had come faster than he had expected. Oh, went quickly and eventually it's gone to a boundary. Well, it's a good shot from uh, such a day. He's hit it straight up into the air. Will they catch this one? Yes, comfortably. Tushar Raheja makes no mistake. Mohamed gets the big wicket of Harish in the death overs. Mohamed is going to tell his spinner, his skipper rather, that I'll bowl quickly and get you wickets. And that's what he's done. Hits it high in the air. The same sinking feeling. And this time he takes it. Anand Subramaniam, one of the more experienced campaigners in this league. Says, what's all the fuss about? There's not much of celebration either. Just as you say that, he's given away a boom, 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 a super six. Sasidev meeting it crisply. Crucial runs for the Super Gillies. Hit it nicely, but just the single. I think he's going to run himself out. Sasidev wanted to keep strike. It's all right for him to sacrifice because Sasidev is the man getting runs there. He's been a major part of what happened in the last five overs. They got 44 runs at this uh, Chepok Gillies. He's hit it not too well. The non striker should just run. Another drop chance though. Two runs. He's hit it again in the air. Will this be taken? No, it doesn't. Another couple of runs for the Chepok Super Gillies. It's turning out to be an expensive over. He's made him pay. He's hit it beautifully. Boom, boom, boom. A super six for Sasidev. He's hit it nicely. Boundary to finish. Takes a whole load of momentum back with him. Sasidev for the Chepok Super Gillies. In the end, they breached the 130 mark. It's been the story of that man, you Sasidev. He was lucky, he was dropped, but uh, he made them pay. 45 not out of 29. Phenomenal hitting in the death. Two sixes in the last couple of overs. Definitely a, a shining star for the Chepok Super Gillies. So 134 is what is required. Wide, wide to begin with. Oh, he smashed it. He smashed it for a three down four. That's early runs, that's good runs, that's off the middle of the bat for Aravind. Picks it up neatly. Once it clears that man, it's going to run away to a three down four. That's a healthy start for Aravind and I dream Tirupur Tamarans. Yeah, that's what he can do. He smashed it. The moment you allow him to free his arms, this is what he can do. Throws the kitchen sink at it. No chance for the point fielder. Oh, he's picked it up, but there's the fielder that is getting underneath it. Oh, he's missed it. Adakrishan sets himself up, just hasn't been able to hold on. 
or somehow, somehow it's beaten that fielder and it's gone to a boundary that's raced to a straight arm for this. Good start to this over. Unfortunately for Sandeep Ore, that's the inside edge. Gone. Looking to go over the top was uh, Arvin, who's provided the big throw. There it is, nicely tossed up. The length was too full, he was too close to the ball. NC could not get the elevation. I'm joined by Trish Kamni. Trish. There again, another strike this from Sai Kishore. Second wicket. Raj Kumar going for a hike of the very second ball he faced and he pays the penalty. This is not a pitch for those shots. Looking to go over the top, he does clear it. Big hit from Anirudha. Boom, 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 six from Anirudha. That's a good attempt from the fielder, but of no avail. He's taken him on, but he has found the fielder. Brother Krishnan picks that catch up. And I'm not too sure if that shot was the need of the hour, but Manke Bafna played that and he's going back to the dugout. Now he's gone for a big one. He's found the deep mid-wicket fielder and he's picked up a catch. Now one brings two. This is another poor shot. It's almost a mirror image of what Manke Bafna did a while ago. Same deep mid-wicket. Beautifully played. That's as flat as it can go for a six. Has picked up the man, Sai Kishore. Tushar Raheja. Well, he can be disappointed, but he struck it straight into the hands of Sai Kishore. They might have to check it, but I think it's gone. Thank you. Satisfied. I'm ready with my decision. It's remarkable how things have changed here. 60 for the loss of six wickets. Another wicket falls. Staring down the barrel. A bit of intelligent bowling from Sai Kishore. This time around, he pitched the ball a little up, not giving enough range of, of shot making for Francis Rockins. Hit it high, but hit it into the hands. Sonu Yadav doesn't drop it. Another wicket for Sai Kishore and Chepok Super Gillies. Freezing side to short. That's the most economical four over spell in TNPL history. 67 for 8 Tirupur Tamarins. Will he get a hat trick? Oh, yes, he does. I don't think he's even aware of it. But that the second hat trick in this edition of the TNPL. Sandeep Wadia picks up his third. Hard lengths from Sandeep Wadia. He's got that extra pace and bounce. Mohammed completely taken by surprise by that extra bounce and pace. Easy catch for Sashi Dev. That's it. It's done and dusted. Sonu Yadav. Gets himself a wicket and Mohan Prasad is the last man that's gone. Chepok with a comprehensive performance again, even though it was a low total. So, story of the game. 133 for 9. You, Sasside, 45 not out of 29. That was the difference between the two teams. I dream Tirupur Tamarans just managed 73. Chepok won by 60 runs.